Now we will begin the final step, which is to sew the button on. And we'll just sew it on just right here, not too far from the edge. For this, you will need a needle and thread. Make sure that your needle is double threaded and that it has a knot on the end, like so. Also for this, you will need a button. And for this blouse, we are using a shank button. And a shank button is a button with a shank. And this shank is this circular loop on the bottom of your button. So that's a shank right there. Okay. So now get your needle and your thread. But first, remember the seam allowance here? What we did was we folded it in. And if you would like, you could press it. Okay, so take your needle and your thread and thread it from back to front. Okay, so just pierce it from the back to the front, like so, and pull it through. So the next step is to take your needle and pick up a piece of fabric, or you could say pierce a piece of the fabric there like this and pull it through. Doing this is like creating an anchor for your button. Next, you will thread the needle through the shank of your button like so and pull. So basically you repeat this process like two more times. So again, pick up another piece of fabric in the same place that you did the last time. Like so, and pull. So this is what we have so far. Okay, take your needle and thread it through the shank of the button again. And pull. So I will be fast forwarding here we are going to repeat the same steps, pick up a piece of the fabric, pull, thread your needle into the shank, pull, Pick up another piece of fabric in the same place and pull. So now we will begin our next step. Take your thread and wrap it around the bottom of your button, like so, and then pull. We will do this three times. Wrap it around your button and pull. This is going to make your shank button super sturdy. Wrap it around there and pull tightly. Finally, we will take our needle and sink it back in there to the back. Pull that through. 
Now to finish, we will make a knot. And you can do this by picking up a piece of the fabric. This will create a loop. And you will take this loop and loop it over your needle. Okay. So just make sure your needle is in the middle of that loop there. And pull your needle through the loop. And you can pull it super tight because this knot is going to keep your button on. Okay. So there you have it. You've sewn your button on. So now you can get your clippers and cut off the extra thread. So now that you have your button sewn on, you can test the position of it by putting the button in the button loop like so. Okay, it looks good. And there you have it. That's how you sew your button on for the keyhole.